guys, I'm Aggie and today I am in Toronto's Evergreen Brickworks and this is Canada's first large-scale environmental centre and it exists so that people in the city can come, learn about nature, connect to nature free of charge and learn about where their food really comes from. So these sorts of centres exist in urban spaces across North America and today we're going to be taking a closer look at the importance of these spaces and how they benefit the urban landscape. Evergreen Brickworks is uh, a project of a national charity in Canada called Evergreen and we developed this site as an opportunity to create a new kind of living lab in the city to explore the future of cities in Canada and beyond, what they can be. So there's a number of things going on here. There's a, at one level there's a focus on children and children's programs with our garden, our summer camps, weekend programs, play spaces. We also have a farmer's market. So there's a lot of community programs and there's a lot of professionals that meet here too, all focused on the theme of the future of our cities. I'm gonna say everybody comes down here. Um, I see people from who, are, like I said, live in apartment buildings, have no ground, no ground to, to plant in. And I see people who have homes who come down here because they wanna see something different or they want to learn something from us that they're not doing at home. But I also see a lot of people who are low income that come down and just hang out for the day and just enjoy the site because it's an amazing site. And children and people who live in apartment buildings need to see nature. They need to come down and see what nature is all about because you just can't watch nature on TV. You don't get the same feeling. Uh, we come because we love being outside. It's a great opportunity to be out with the nature and it teaches her a lot. And she gets to be with other kids. So she's not only playing outside and getting to be here and enjoying and learning to plant things and take care of the earth, but she actually has a lot of fun and she's learning a lot from the other children as well. It's a little green oasis. We live nearby, so it's easy to access. And it makes you feel like you're not in the city. My daughter, when she's playing with some of her friends, um, if they're outside, she talks about protecting the trees. You know, they were, some of her friends were playing with some of the branches and she said, oh, we have to be careful, we have to take care of the trees. And so, so um, I think she's just, she just has a little more sensitivity towards, um, you know, looking after um, the world around us. Um, and my son, who's only three, has, has really become sort of more attuned to all the, the different types of birds that are around. He's, he's noticed, um, Notice the colors. He hasn't quite picked up on all the names of different birds, but he's noticed the different coloring patterns of birds, and um, and I think it's just made them just enjoy being outside more. <laughs> well, the importance is for children to learn where their food comes from. From my teachings, I've met children who think that carrots come from a bag, and so whenever I hear that, my first instinct is, let's plant carrot seeds today. I want to teach you where carrots come from. So we need spaces like this throughout our communities where families and children can come and connect, where children can go alone. Children need the independent time in these spaces. Their social development relies on it. Their physical development relies on it. The confidence and the emotional development that happens when they are discovering on their own, when they're making on their own, when they're building friendships on their own is all really, really important. It's also important for our new immigrants, people who are first generation to Canada, who probably live in apartment buildings and feel like they're landlocked and don't have a piece of land to garden on or come to a nice natural site. So when they come down here, I see their eyes open up because they see, they see force. And then when I talk to them, talk about gardening on site, their eyes get even bigger because they want to learn how to garden, how to grow in the new country that they're in. These types of environmental centers are popping up more and more in urban areas across North America and they're a great way for city people to expose their kids themselves to nature and sustainable living. For Mothering.com, I'm Aggie. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe below.